In this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly reseat the ribbon cable and uh, power cable inside your IP camera. So this is our IPC 4K 15D, so this applies to any other IP camera that looks like this, has a, um, a central casing here around the IR that is uh, gloss black. And um, make sure when you're following this video, you've already powered off your camera by detaching it from PoE or its 12 volt power source for at least one minute before you open up the cover. I remove the cover using a small screwdriver. Please do not use a drill. You, you will strip these screws out. Once you are inside the camera, you'll see here it has a ribbon cable right here. Sometimes it can become loose when you're trying to orient the camera. So right now it's in a locked position. To unlock it, you would flip it up like so, and you can take that ribbon cable off. To put it back in, you would put it back on a stationary surface flat. Don't try to do it with your hands because it's going to be hard. Uh, don't try to do it with only in your hands because it's going to be hard to manipulate the camera. You're going to drop it. Apply pressure with your thumb. Make sure this ribbon cable is seated down. There's only one way to seat it with the blue side facing outwards to the side of the camera. Use your other thumb and your nail to kind of push this clip in. You'll hear a small click happen, and you know you've correctly seated when you hear that click happen. When you look at it from the side, you'll see a little bit of ri ribbon showing it there. It's a very small amount. I think you should be able to see it the way I'm holding the camera there. It may not. Um, unfortunately, the resolution is limited there. Here you go. This is a better, better view. It's very little showing there. The other ribbon here, or uh, connector, is this cable. This should already be in there. Just press it down. Make sure it's all the way in. Inspect the camera. Make sure there's no cable that's been cut. And this is how the camera moves around. So a lot of times when people are moving it, you're going to collide with the cabling harness here. You want to make sure this is not in your way when you're moving it around. Inspect these cables to make sure that there are no breaks in them, no cuts in them. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.